Five, we're working developing news. Within the last hour, we've learned an Attleboro police sergeant is facing a list of federal charges, including possession of child pornography. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the developing details. Caroline. Well, Mike and Kelly, 54-year-old Richard Woodhead is a sergeant with the Attleboro Police Department. We have confirmed tonight that he is being held in federal custody, facing several charges related to child pornography. Now, Woodhead was arraigned in federal court in Providence this afternoon. Through court documents, we have confirmed the South Attleboro man is charged with attempting to entice a minor to engage in sexual activity, attempting the, the receipt of child pornography, and possessing child pornography. Documents state the offenses occurred in Providence between September 20th second of last year and today. The U.S. Attorney's Office tells us Woodhead was arrested earlier today following a court-authorized search of his home. The sergeant will be detained until a bail review is held on April 12th. Now, each of his three charges are felonies. They each carry a possible prison sentence and a fine of up to $250,000. We did reach out to the Attleboro Police Chief earlier. If you want to, guys, if you want to know what he actually got, six months home confinement. That's what he ended up getting. Earlier today, following the, annou the announcement of his arrest, and all he had to say was Woodhead was arrested. He wouldn't provide any further comment. We'll have another live report about this case coming up live at 6 on WPRI. Reporting live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News. Steph, thanks for working, developing news tonight on the arrest of a local police sergeant. The story was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. Guys, look at this piece of, piece of crap. Dick Woodhead. Who would have thought that Dick Woodhead would have been someone that looks at child porn and collects it? By the way, guys, uh, this jackass pulled me over once. Okay? I was going past the Attleboro Police Station. I put my blinker on too early. Not too late. Too early. Right? So I thought I was going to take a turn. But it was actually the next street down. The street that I thought it was was actually going into a parking lot. I wanted to go to the, the next turn down, which was the actual street. But I had my blinker on well before that. And apparently he didn't like that. And when I did that, he because uh, I slowed down just for a little bit, thought there was a turn, but I kept going. But because I slowed down, he got right on my tail. And then he realized I was turning at the next turn. And he decides to pull me over. And uh, he's, he, I remember his face. He's the one that came up to me, up to my window. And if I knew that he was looking at child porn that day, I would have acted much differently. Much differently. All right, let's watch the rest of this dick woodhead. Since then, we've learned the suspect is Attleboro Police Sergeant Richard Woodhead and that the charges are related to child pornography. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is outside federal court in Providence now with the developing details. Well, Kelly and Mike, Richard Woodhead was arraigned in federal court in Providence earlier today. Tonight, he's being held in federal custody. 54-year-old Richard Woodhead, a sergeant with the Attleboro Police Department, now facing several charges related to child pornography. According to court documents, the Attleboro man is charged with attempting to entice a minor into sexual activity, attempting receipt of child pornography, and possessing it. A court complaint we obtained states the offenses occurred in Providence between September 22nd of last year and today. Attleboro Police Chief Kyle Hagney sent a press release Thursday morning, confirming Sergeant Woodhead's arrest, but the chief wouldn't comment on the case or the charges. The U.S. Attorney's Office tells us a court-authorized search was done at Woodhead's home on Thursday. The sergeant was then arrested by the Homeland Security Investigation agents and members of the Rhode Island State Police Internet. Okay, I want to point something out about what the news had done just right here. Okay, First, they went to the police station. They filmed the cruisers like I've done. Right? But, you know, the cops approached me. I'm sure the cops didn't approach them, right? And then he, they also went to his house where his wife and kids live. And I'm sure they're going to keep the house. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe not. Maybe the wife is just as bad. And she also enjoys that kind of uh, entertainment. 
grotesque entertainment, if that's what you want to call it. It's not entertaining to anyone besides perverts like him. Well, let's listen more. Crimes Against Children Task Force. During his appearance in federal court in Providence, U.S. District Court Judge Patricia Sullivan ordered Woodhead be held in federal custody. Each of his three charges are felonies. They each carry the possibility of prison time and fines up to $250,000. New details at six on two former police officers. They were both in federal court today, and they both pleaded guilty to separate crimes. One to charges of money laundering and drugs, the other to charges of child pornography. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planer learned more about the disturbing allegations. Guys, look at the smirk on his face. He thinks it's funny. He thinks it's funny. You think you know why he's laughing, guys? Because he got away with it. You're gonna find out right now how much how much time what his penalty sentencing is after having three felony charges in federal court. Ready, guys? Against Richard Woodhead, he joins us live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the new details. Jared. Yeah, Mike and Caroline, an over 30-year career, the sentencing window here between five and 20 years, and up to a quarter of a million dollar fine. Former longtime Attleboro police sergeant and father, Richard Woodhead, pleading... Oh, I don't know about you guys, but if that's his wife, why the hell is she standing right next to him? I hope that that's, like, I hope that's the lawyer, and she would probably be the cheapest lawyer in town. Because he ain't going to be having any... He's not going to have any money after this, right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he loses everything, right? Let's find out guilty Friday to attempted receipt of child pornography. No cameras allowed in federal court. Whitehead listened as the government said between September and January. Whitehead posted an online ad titled Perv on Your Daughter, looking for nude pictures of people's daughters. Perv on your daughter, guys. You know, a lot of these cops are involved with high schools and, and go into all kinds of events where there's children do you guys regret that after 30 years of him being in a department? Do you regret him being around your children? I wouldn't. I wouldn't want him to live next to me. I wouldn't even want to live in the same town as this creep. Someone in a position of power. A sergeant. Handling business. You know, how many, how many young girls did he pull over and take advantage of? If any of them are listening, speak out. Um, I got my email is breaking the flaw at gmail.com. If you know this guy, Dick Woodhouse, the Woodhead, Dick Woodhead, if you ever got pulled over by Sergeant Woodhead, email me breaking the flaw at gmail.com. Take a good look at this guy, guys. Let's find out what, get, what he gets from this justice system. Soon, an undercover detective was emailing with the 54-year-old, later phone conversations with a federal agent. Prosecutors say Woodhead wanted nude photos of a fictitious 8-year-old girl, explained what he wanted to do sexually with the child, and discussed meeting up for sex. At Wood An 8-year-old. Guys, you know, shout out to PP Mass, uh, Predator Poachers, Massachusetts. Um, share this video with them if you can. Uh, get over to him, subscribe, let him know I sent you. I wish he caught this guy. I, you know, PB Mass, he only goes off, uh, you know, baits himself out there as a 13 and 14 year old. Well, I think he needs to stop baiting himself as an eight year old because these cops apparently targeting eight year olds. Perv for your daughter. Let's watch Perv for your daughter. Sergeant Dick Woodhead. It's home. Investigators found a secret compartment inside nylons, video of prepubescent boys engaged in sexual acts, and nude pictures of minor teenage girls. The government says he also had photos of neighborhood children clothed. You say Richard Woodhead. Oh. His neighbors, guys. Yeah, they were clothed. I'm sure they didn't want to, you know, let the out outcry about that. You know, a lot of these predators are not going to, you know, go after, like, you know, pred on kids in their neighborhood. They're going to go a little bit further out, right? But he's a cop. 
who flashes that badge. Who knows what he can get away with? Who knows who he has threatened to keep secrets? Who knows what other police officers in that department were in on this and were, were involved in his sexual deviancies with children? Who knows if that lawyer standing to his right is also in on it? Sort of like Jeffrey Epstein and um, Dershowitz. Let's keep watching. Yeah. Just threw you under the bus there, lawyer. We're going to say. So, you know, allegedly, you know, you're clean. Allegedly. You're clean. But in reality, you're backing this guy up. I wouldn't. I don't care. No matter how much money he give you. His retirement fund. I'm sure you got his retirement fund. But we're going to find out right now. Leaving court. What do you say, sir, to the government calling you a child predator? Are you that? Excuse me. No answer. His attorney asked that we respect Woodhead's privacy. We also reached out to Attleboro's police chief today for reaction on this ex-officer's guilty plea. And we did not hear back. Live in Providence tonight, Jared Plenner, Eyewitness News. And here you go, guys. Here's what he gets for possessing child porn i'm sure worse but he's not charged with those worst things yet and maybe uh people will start speaking out let's do it before this old fart dies guys before he dies from home confinement i don't know maybe let's find out Photography charges. Richard Woodhead was sentenced to five years in prison. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau was in court for today's emotional sentencing and has the latest now from our control room. The 54-year-old former police officer cried as he apologized for his crime and cried again as he said goodbye to his family in court. Mr. Woodhead, anything to say? 34-year Attleboro police veteran Richard Woodhead silent as he walks into the federal courthouse to hear his fate. Had anything to say to the people you protected and served? In Judge William Smith's courtroom, prosecutors explained how Wood had used an alter ego with a different name to try to obtain child pornography. Someone else involved... Per, uh, perv for your daughter. That's what his name was, guys. Perv for your daughter. I'm too bad they didn't say it again in the news. And the scheme was arrested and the government said that alerted Woodhead to cancel a meeting with an undercover officer posing as someone who was going to give the cop porn. Prosecutors said after that, Woodhead began covering his tracks, prompting what would be a plea agreement for one charge of attempting to receive child pornography. Judge Smith and the U.S. attorney agreed he deserved more than five years since evidence showed he was about to pick up porn. But the judge told the defendant, I'm not going to sentence you on speculation. Wow, guys. I understand. I get it. I get what the judge is saying. But shit, throw the book at these people. The sentencings are light already. And he's a police officer. He's a sergeant. Does he deserve this kind of punishment? Absolutely not. He deserves much, much worse. If anything, I think there should be a law in the books that if a cop commits a crime, that he gets three times the sentencing. All right, let's watch the rest. Let's find out the full details of his sentence. Woodhead was not granted a request to turn himself in at a later date. So this was his last bit of freedom outside before he was taken to prison after a tearful goodbye to his family in the courtroom. Woodhead's attorneys told us their client is not a child predator and that there is no evidence that their client victimized children. The prosecutor emphasized in court, child porn is not a victimless crime since the children in the pictures and the videos are the victims. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. There you go, guys. I think they said that How to stop got... buffering issues anywhere. Looks like uh Okay guys, it looks like uh he gets five years prison. I don't believe that. I remember it being something else, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little more research here. 
There are new details on a former Attleboro police sergeant facing child pornography charges. Richard Woodhead is on home confinement, can only leave for court appearances or medical appointments. According to a court filing, he wants to be allowed to travel to URI in Kingston next month. Yo, you guys see him running there? Let's watch that again. Watch this guy. Look at this uh, child predator run. Richard Woodhead is on home confinement, can only leave for court appearances or medical appointments. According to a court filing, he wants to be allowed to travel to URI <laughs> in Kingston next month to see his son graduate. Officials have... No, no, dude. You don't have the right to be amongst children anymore. You've lost that privilege. It was always, it was always a privilege to you because you knew that you weren't in the right. And you exploited that. You took pictures of your neighborhood children. You think they're going to let you go to a graduation where there's children? No, you're, you're, you're mentally confused. You clearly have not learned your lesson, even though you haven't been sentenced yet on the occurrence of this. You have not learned a lesson. You never will learn a lesson because the thin blue line, right? You think the cops got you, right? They, they got your back. I don't know, man. We're going to find out what really you got. I think it's five years sentence, but I'm pretty sure you got home confinement, right? Up until May 9th to make a decision, Woodhead was arrested by Rhode Island State Police and federal agents earlier this month following a seven-month-long investigation. Oh, let's let's see the family. Former Attleboro Police guy. Sergeant Richard Woodhead will soon learn his fate. And he's scheduled to be sentenced tomorrow after pleading guilty to child pornography charges in August. Ahead of that sentencing, we have obtained letters to the judge from Woodhead's friends and family. I okay, first reporter. off, guys, I'm going to give you uh, my say on this real quick, even before this all starts, is that they're just giving this cop some clout. The news is giving a child predator, a platform by allowing these letters to go through these communications, these talks or whatever you want to call it. This is giving this cop some clout, some sympathy, but let's see how sympathetic the news actually is going to be for this cop and this family and friends sending letters, seeking lenient sentencing for a child predator. One that took photos of your neighbor's kids, you sickos. Okay, here we go. Kim Kalunian has been digging through the documents. She joins us now in the newsroom with the new developments. Kim? Well, Mike and Caroline, lawyers for the former police sergeant are hoping for a more lenient sentence, and so they've submitted those letters from his friends and family, as well as a letter from a psychologist who calls Woodhead a sex addict. More than a dozen letters from friends and family supporting Richard Woodhead, the 55-year-old former Attleboro police sergeant arrested back in April after talking with an undercover police officer. Look, guys, it's not illegal to be a sex addict. It's illegal to be, you know, uh, a sexual abuser unto other people, right? It's illegal to be uh, a sex addict of child for children and to have pictures of children but that's not just a sex addict that is a predator in the community a predator with a shiny badge that thinks he has more rights over everyone else no man i hope your uniform was cut off your body and maybe a little snip snip down below too about sexual relations with minors. Police also found a secret compartment of child porn in his home. But letters submitted to the court obtained by Eyewitness News tell a story of a family man, his wife of 28 years, writing, When I was first made aware of Richard being charged with attempted receipt of child pornography, I was in disbelief and shock, which was followed by anger and disappointment. She goes on to say, I have decided to follow my heart, which is to continue to support Richard. In another letter woodhead's adult son writes if oh, he truly oh yeah guys you don't want to you know disobey god and get a divorce right because you swore that you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life right you don't want to disobey god in exchange you have to support a child predator how how how, how, how stupidly confused are you how, how confused can you be Guys, 
Think about what these people, this mentality that is going through. If I found out anyone I knew was a sexual predator of children, or anybody really, and it doesn't have to be just children, sexual predator against anybody, I'm not going to hang out with them. I don't care if it's the closest person to me. It's not going to happen. They're going to be gone from my life forever. And I'll do, I'll put an effort to speak out about them, especially if you've used your privileges as a cop to abuse that power and to, to think that you have gained the rights over others by exploiting them. All right, let's keep watching this had sexual interest in children, me, my sister, or the hundreds of kids he came in contact with coaching would have something to show for it, but he does not. The only interest he has in kids is helping them become better people through his teachings in sports and by his example set as a police officer. Woodhead reached a plea deal with prosecutors and pleaded guilty to a single count of attempted receipt of child pornography. A doctor writes that Woodhead is a sex addict, but not a pedophile, saying Richard is not a danger to children or minors. Oh, guys, he's not. He's not. He was literally taking pictures of his neighbor's kids. He's in immediate danger to all of them. He enjoys the uh, the nudity of children, and he clearly exhibited that on his hard drives, and they found it after a seven-month-long investigation, guys. And he was trying to solicit an eight-year-old an eight-year-old's photos. No, this is not okay. That is not okay. That is not just a sexual life. That is him being a child predator. <sighs> For the, they, they have like, they must have been threatened by him. Or maybe the police threatened the family. You know, don't cross that thin blue line, right? Oh, thin blue line, we can have whatever we want on our computers. Hmm. You can do whatever you want. We can do whatever we want. Ho, ho, ho. We got Shauna badges. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else this family has to sympathize about their child predator dad. Okay. <laughs> And Woodhead is due back in court tomorrow. He could face up to 20 years in prison. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. All right, guys, here it is. I found where Dick Woodhead landed. ex Adelboro Cops appeal for sentencing. He appealed this, guys. He appealed even after admitting. <laughs> okay. ex cop uh, Adelboro Cops appeal of sentence in child porn case rejected by a federal magistrate. Duh. Um, great. Good. Rot. Okay. Rot. In where? Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's serving in a, in Ohio at a low security federal prison. Five years, guys, five years. He's going to be out next year for child porn. Loads and loads and loads of child porn pictures of his neighbors, kids and all that. He says lawyers were ineffective. And that the evidence against him was insufficient. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't sufficient enough for him, guys. the uh, The kids weren't as nude as he thought they would be to to get convictions. I guess that's my my theory on that. Woodhead admitted it, guys. He admitted to having communication with an eight year old that ended up being a federal agent. Well, the agent was posing as the stepfather's eight-year-old, uh, you know, eight-year-old girl's stepfather. That's disgusting. <laughs> they, they set it all, all those ankles up like that. Well, guys, if you ever see perv on your daughter, that's the cop. Let's read the rest of this here. The five-year mandatory sentence was recommended by lawyers for both sides after negotiations that resulted in dropping other charges. So he could have been in there for 10 years, guys. I wish he did. Entrapment. Yeah, right. Uh, 
Anyways, guys, that's the story. There he is right there. This wonderful person, society. He, he will be again soon. Uh, there he is, guys. Yeah, one time this guy actually pulled me over in Attleboro. And uh, I'm sorry to say I was in his presence at one time. But he is going to get out. And you better believe he's going to do it again. He does not have a sex addict addiction. He doesn't have a sex addiction. He has an addiction to child porn. To creating victims of children at his pleasure. Disgusting. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.